he's quite happy for a long direct pass with which one running onto it as we show off the goal. Yeah, it's, it's the right ball, isn't it? As opposed to any ball and that, you know, John just alluded to it. It was shades of Suarez, wasn't it? Long ball from the, from a defender, pull it down on his knee this time as opposed to his shoulder on his thigh. So he go around the keeper and, and finish it really well. Um, good spot, good run. Uh, something that Diaz has added to his game, which is really good. At the moment, he's... The, is electric, isn't he? You can't give him a, a yard, can you? He's really at it at the moment. So fair play to him because a lot was written in the summer about should he stay, should he go? Do we replace him with Gordon? Well, there's no chance. We you can't upgrade him at the moment in the form he's in. No matter where you go in the world, you won't find a better I one. Think, I think if Barca had had any money, they may have pressed a bit harder, and then mm. you, we would have had to be looking at Gordon or someone to replace him. I think that's what that was all about, really. But in, I don't think they came in with a bid, so you, you, we kept him. I was he's adding millions to his... Yeah. Yeah, I was say, he's, doing now, a he's doing us a favour. Yeah, yeah. Maybe get himself a new contract at some point as well, which he wants. The, 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 the run's the important thing. Actually, John, I'll talk about that. We'll talk about the touch and the finish. I mean, it's class. That in-to-out run, the, I, when I was first seeing Diaz, at times, I was like, he feels more like a winger who wants to be on the ball. I'm not sure how bothered he is about scoring goals. Like he felt like he always no, wants to looks, come back to the half. Looks like he wants he, every he, game. It felt like he was coming I mean, to Andy Robbo, taking the ball off him. Now was, he's making them in behind the goal. That was a third or fourth shot on goal. Yeah. you know, and it was only 20 minutes gone. Yeah, you know, and I, I, at that point, I'm not thinking we're battering them. You know, I think we're having a game, and I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm still a bit concerned we're not putting them under a great deal of pressure, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, Canate finds this ball to see he obviously sees the run yeah. and, and and manages to get the perfect pass for him it makes but me of think course Ke- worked, Kepa didn't... helped him didn't he of course. of course it makes me think that's something they've worked on though because yeah. that isn't it... something you associate with Ibu Kanate that isn't his first well, his, he's his involved first in the other in the next goal as well and the third goal as well isn't he with a bit of a hoof down yeah. um, so maybe yeah they're training him to be the next Trent I <laughs> saw <laughs> uh, 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 Alexis McAllister said nice clearance bro that was Alexis uh, when he when Ibu claimed he got himself an assist the Kepa does him a favour, like no no doubt about it. He's actually had a very strong what twenty five minutes or so. Kepa, he's made some good saves. Kept out Salah, kept out the airs a couple of times. He has a shock at this. Thing, don't be wrong. Eh? The worst thing a goalie can do is run out and then stop. You yeah. either go full hearted or you don't. You, you can't do both. And he's he's had a bit of a stink at the goalie there. Yeah, he's obviously not recognised just how quick Diaz is. Although he should have done from the previous efforts, he had to keep out. So yeah, he, he stay, don't you? And if he stays, the angle that that's naturally created by where Diaz finally gets the ball under control isn't there because the keeper's blocking that angle off so a bit of a stinker there but I think his defence sold him down the river you know they, they absolutely cannot leave a man who's playing as well as that who's as quick as that and the first thing he wants to do is is get at you and get shots off you cannot leave yourself that exposed to a forward in, in that kind of form right now No it's a great run John the touch is fantastic like Steve yeah. mentioned before Suarez Newcastle it's different obviously because it was a bit close to the goal but it's, it's the same one motion of that he taps yeah. the ball gets away gets a shot it's without contr- control and movement at the same yeah. time which is you know yeah. magical when you see it it's you know very rare and um, but even after he, he'd, he'd done that it wasn't an easy goal to put in yeah. the back of the net and I could easily have seen either Mo or Nunez putting that over the bar you know, having a smack at it rather than, and he um, he placed it really well. The lad, on the, the lad on the line thinks what's on ball at it, don't he? And yeah, by he that last minute goes, you know what? I, I, <clears throat> let's not get sent off here because he yeah. goes to save and he thinks better of it. Um, the that's twenty six minutes stays twenty eight minutes when it's two nil. Um, it's Diaz again, obviously, but this time it's not a long ball forward. It's Trent Alexander Arnold having the freedom of Anfield to just. Bomb through it. I actually felt before our first goal, I was saying on the watch on live at Twell, we just aren't getting Trent in the game yet. And then the one time Trent got in the game, he does so well. Like he, he, he doesn't always have to play forty yard passes. He shows like he's got the athleticism and the skill and, the, and just a bob forward plays a lovely ball. Bang two 0 see you later. So they didn't have much in midfield in terms of a presence. There was a number of times Trent was able to pick up the ball and carry it 20, 30 yards, and one in particular in the second half. Um, so, so why not get him in there and get him using the ball? And it's a slide roll pass, isn't it, in, into Diaz? And then you think is he going to do it again? What he did the last time, but he keeps it low and be- beats the keeper and it is another really really tidy finish and it, you know he, he could get 25 20 25 goals a season the way he's going um in another game where we took him off last time he was on two goals and he was a bit disappointed because i think he wants that hat trick doesn't he um so 
getting great return from him. The one thing that we've all, to a man, have sat there and said, that's all we need from him is a little bit more output in terms of his goals and his assists. And he's he's answered that cry, hasn't he, emphatically so far. So great finish, great finish, because he'd missed the earlier one when, as you alluded to before, he probably should have squared it. But this time he's he's got it right and doubles our lead. He scored 13 goals all last season, John. That was his highest. He, he, he played... 51 games in total scored 13 goals which that goes back to the point it's of no, it's nowhere yeah, good yeah, enough you want, forward exactly you want more the year before to, again he, he gets 6 in his first half season in 26 games he gets 5 in 21 games that, that's the one when he has the bad injury he's already got 5 in 6 now and by the way you can add in a little assist in there so it's a goal involved it's on average every game it, it feels like the the arrival of the real Lewis Diaz. I think we've all, no one's ever said he's a bad player, none of that. But these like Liverpool forward numbers you mentioned there, the last one isn't enough from what you're getting. I mean, this is perfect. If you're going to get this every week, like like Steve says, he's going to be challenging Mo Salah for the top scorer awards. Yeah, I mean, there was there was one bit in, I can't remember which half it was in now. He had three men around him and he just went through them as if they weren't there with just pure skill on the ball and pace. Uh, I mean, he is a phenomenal footballer, you know, and now that he's adding goals and, and assists to that, he's now world class without a doubt. You know, whereas before you'd say, "Oh, he's got potential," and you know, he's a pretty good winger and he's got pace. But now you're thinking, "Well, oh, well, this guy really is something." We're getting Suarez vibes off him at the moment, aren't yeah, we? Yeah. The way that he yeah. plays through the tack challenges and stuff like that. So he's, yeah, I, I was thinking, I was, it's hard to compare differently. He, the, 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 them two goals are. Like Sadio Mane goals, like the, the that diagonal run that used to just kill teams time and time again. We, we've mm. we've done we've done it for such a long time, and then the second goal arriving late to the back post and, and finishing well. Again, I, I you don't always like doing comparisons because it's not fair. He's just his own man, he, and he's twenty seven, and he's comfortable, Steve, and he's fit. It might just be that's all it is. You mm. know what I mean? Like last year was his first. He was coming back off the injury, and then he has, of course, the issue that happens with his father and stuff. It feels this year they've got a fully fit firing. Focus Luis Diaz and he's doing wonders for them. Yeah, and it'd be nice for him to think about football and not physicality and, and, and family issues. Yeah, so, yeah. head down the best way to, to show someone you want a new contract and the best I mean, way to show you, you football. You can't club. underestimate what it's like having Gakbo behind you. Well, exactly. You place. Yeah, he didn't look yeah. very happy sat on the bench, did he? Mm-hmm. Nor should he. What do you think's changed, John? Is there anything noticeable about him? Because he still looks a bit like the more Lewis, the Lewis Diaz I've always seen. But it feels like he's doing a 10 yards further up the pitch. That's, yeah. that, that's the only difference I can see, really. He's not really doing that, th- doing that thing where he comes back and takes off Andy Robbo. He's, it feels like he's more trying to go he's, the other way. He's very now. much in the penalty area, yeah. isn't he, these days? Yeah. He, I mean, he always, the goals he scored, he always, they were always brilliant goals. Yeah. And I always thought to myself, this guy's going to score a bag full, and he never ever did. But he, he just looks like he's he's turned the corner on that now. You know, just someone's switch, little f- switch has been flicked. You know, he, he suddenly. I mean, that second goal it wasn't an easy finish at all. No, you know, on his left foot as well. You know, and uh, so let's hope it carries on. I mean, it's obviously early days yet. So, but uh, maybe, maybe slots done a lot. Well, that's what, that's what I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm yeah. just trying to figure yeah. out if anything has changed. Is it or is it like he? Just he's fit, the, the system suits him better. I, I don't know, Steve, because again, the team around him are playing better, and the slot always says this you know, he couldn't do it without him doing it. And I understand all that, but you can't argue the fact that Lewis Diaz has gone from a clearly very talented player who frustrated at times to being this just every time he gets the ball now, you think we might score here. That was never really the case. No, I think it might be a culmination of all of those things. We've got a settled midfield. He's got McAllister playing close to him. I've long been an advocate of the saying, you give a footballer the ball in an area where he wants it, where he can hurt people, they will. And I think I think it goes back to that control. There's definite passages of play. There's definite change in the way that we're building up. And he's benefiting from it. And obviously the things we've just spoken about, he's settled, settled. He's not got anything on his mind other than the next game and how many goals and how many opportunities he's going to get. And that that's only a good thing. He's always had the, the ability to stay quite right. He's just... Now we're getting the return. He's making wanted. the right choices, isn't yeah, he now? decision-making, yeah. I mean, that run for the first goal... I mean, he's a winger. Why would he make a run into the centre of the park where all the defenders were and the goalkeeper? He should be running away from them as mm. a winger. He should be trying to keep find space on the wing, shouldn't he? But now he decides to make that run, which makes the goal. 
I was checking, like, I was doing a little bit on the stats the other day, Steve, and, and, like, where he's picking the ball up and stuff. He's definitely getting, it's weird, he's getting actually less of the ball because Liverpool do have the, you know, Liverpool, maybe maybe not as much, but, like, he was struggling a bit in midfield and he couldn't quite, it felt like we'd ask him to do too much at times. He was all, he was definitely, according like, the stats show, picking it up deeper a lot inside his own half a fair bit. It feels like, because you mentioned before, Gravenberg's playing well and McAllister's playing well and so Bozlai's doing a good job getting about He's not, they're not asking him to do too much, but so then he can get him the ball and he's 10 yards further up the pitch and he hasn't had to run around doing all these other donkey work for a while. It feels like we're allowing him to be more what he is and what he needs to be. Yeah, and because they had very little in midfield, we were able to control the game. And by doing that, we can push either the left or the right side of centre midfield almost into a 10 roll. So he's getting the ball from closer proximity to somebody. He's got someone really creative in McAllister. Robbo's having a, a good season so far. So there's a bit of a chemistry building up between those two as well. Uh, so, so yeah, it's it's a it, it role's changed a little bit. We don't work so hard going backwards with him anymore. There were times when you see it with him and Nunes in, under Klopp that they'd often win the ball back in your own area. And then you think, okay, so where's our out ball? We don't have one. But because of the way we're structured now, because our first thing is, and it was quite rightly so, the first thing he's addressed is, don't give away early goals don't concede goals and one in five speaks volumes for that we're, we're different now we don't take the same amount of risks and, and that means we can the, the free kick you made before they, they they pull teams all over the place they go left they go right they go in they go out and they're just waiting for somebody to switch off so I, I take your point putting that ball down and, and smacking it into the box you've got diminutive players with the exception of, of Nunes it hasn't really worked for Liverpool in recent years so recycle it and move it and, and make sure that your whole opposition is switched on and try and get that extra man involved it's patience it's control it's good to see and I think you know the the, the forward thinking players and, and again you know Diaz in particular has benefited most from that I think as well John again it's it's an early sample size he's played what five games but last season he was getting 0.9 shots a game he was actually having 2.5 shots a game in, and he's pretty much there this season 2.6 but last year it was 0.9 on target so what that's what, what less well, well, I'm trying to figure it out now it's 1.6 it's, it's, a, bit, it's, a, better, it's yeah. a big difference but also it might just be the type of shots he's taken last year the, the Lewis Diaz shot was cut inside go for the curler and it, listen when it works it's fantastic and we've seen him do it it feels like now he's getting him I was thinking has he got better at shooting but then I thought, well, I thought, actually, I think he's getting into better positions, which makes yeah, it easier for him to shoot. They are better positions. Now. Certainly the second one, you know, the the, the, the first one, well, you know, the, a very unusual goal. But yeah. the second one was him getting himself, you know, as Steve said, on free on the back post. Yeah. And um, from there, he's got a shot, you know, and uh, he took it well. Yeah, absolutely. Long way continue <clears> for Lucho because... <throat> Yeah, he's doing well on the songs, boss as well. So it it, it certainly is helping us out. Uh, 